Gigantopithecus, the largest ape that ever lived. In the animal kingdom, being gigantic has its own perks. The bigger you are, the less vulnerable you are to predators. In addition, you'll be able to cover a great deal of territory when searching for food. But why have some of the biggest species in the animal kingdom disappeared? When it comes to apes, you may be wondering what is the biggest ape that ever lived? How did they become that big and are they still existing up to this day? Make sure to watch until the end because for this video, we'll talk about the largest ape that ever walked on Earth. According to records, Gigantopithecus is the largest ape that ever lived. Only a few fossils of Gigantopithecus have been recovered, specifically the teeth and jawbones. The first evidence of Gigantopithecus was bought in a Chinese drugstore in Hong Kong in 1935 by Ralph Koenigswald, an anthropologist. What he bought were two-third molar teeth labeled as dragon teeth to be used in traditional Chinese medicine. After purchasing more teeth in 1939, he learned that they originated somewhere in Guangdong and Guanxi. In 1952, von Koenigswald then identified that the molars belonged to an extinct ape species that he called Gigantopithecus, which literally translates to giant apes. In 1956, more than a thousand teeth in the first mandibles were discovered in Luching. From 1957 to 1963, more excavations were carried out in two mandibles and more than 1,000 teeth were discovered. Additional remains were found in at least 16 different sites across southern China. However, up to this day, only jaws and teeth are found by researchers. Other skeletal elements were most likely eaten by porcupines before they could even fossilize. In addition, perhaps the fact that ancient Chinese collected their fossils in what they believed were dragon bones is another reason for the loss of the remains. Because there's only fossils of teeth and jaws, there is no exact size identified for Gigantopithecus. Based on their fossils, the animals stood as high as 10 feet or 3 meters, with a weight of up to 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms. Because of their weight, researchers believe that these giant apes walked on their knuckles like gorillas. They were once argued to be a hominid and a member of the human line, but they are now thought to be close relatives of orangutans. According to scientists, Gigantopithecus's diet consisted of tough, fibrous materials. These animals' jaws were adapted to grind, cut, and crush tough, fibrous plants. Based on the enamel and the shape of the teeth, scientists believe that they had a diet similar to giant pandas. Perhaps bamboo is a major food source. However, new researchers have done chemical analysis on the tooth enamel, and based on this, Gigantopithecus did not consume as much bamboo as pandas, just like they were previously thought. Instead, the cavities in their molars suggest that what they ate aside from plants are fruits and other sweet vegetation. Gigantopithecus is believed to have been a herbivore and mostly consume fruits, leaves, and other plants. Their molars also have a high cavity rate of 11%, which concludes that fruits including figs, mulberries, breadfruits, and bananas were also a part of their diet. This giant gorilla-like beast ruled the tropical forests of southern China and parts of Southeast Asia for two to three million years. However, when the early to middle Pleistocene ice ages began, which is about 300,000 years ago, these giant animals became extinct. Some estimates even claim that this species went extinct around 100,000 years ago. If this is true, it will mean that they coexisted with Homo sapiens. Nevertheless, evidence of this is not widely agreed on. And despite not being in existence anymore, humans are still curious and would want to learn more about them. So why have the Gigantopithecus gone extinct? According to new studies, it's believed that the climate change largely contributed to the Gigantopithecus's extinction. Because they are so huge, they need to consume large amounts of food to sustain their energy and the nutrients that their body needs. Because of their size, Gigantopithecus ate low-lying plants such as stems, roots, and grasses. However, during the Pleistocene, forested areas where these giant apes lived turned into savanna landscapes. Unfortunately, their size became a hindrance and they never evolved to climb. That said, with the forest grounds reduced, Gigantopithecus could no longer forage enough food. And since they couldn't climb and reach food above the ground, it resulted in starvation, which ultimately led to their death. Had they been smaller, they might have been able to adapt and survive in their new environment, just like their orangutan relatives. Aside from this, their size also contributed to their disappearance. According to Aaron Clossett, a computer scientist at the University of Boulder, there are short-term advantages that come with being bigger, but it also brings long-term risk. Aside from requiring huge amounts of food, the bigger the animal is, the higher the risk of reproducing fewer offspring. 
This implies that the Gigantopithecus population tends to be smaller and riskier to fluctuation. As a matter of fact, it's not only the Gigantopithecus that's now non-existent because of their size. Other animals that no longer live on Earth due to their size are giant sloths. Another factor that's believed to have contributed to their disappearance is the immigration of H. erectus. Human activities are recorded in southern China as early as 800,000 years ago, but they did not become prevalent until after the disappearance of Gigantopithecus. That said, it's not clear if there was competition over resources or over hunting that caused their disappearance. Since these giant apes' discovery 90 years ago, only one species of the Gigantopithecus genus has ever been identified, which is called G. Blackie. The name was in honor of Davidson Black, a Canadian paleoanthropologist who studied human evolution in China and died the previous year. During the duration of their discovery, researchers documented about 2,000 teeth and four partial jawbones for these animals. As mentioned earlier, most fossils are collected in cave areas in southern China, although there's plenty of evidence found in Indonesia, northern Thailand, and northern Vietnam. Being the largest ape to ever walk the earth, it might be suggested that Gigantopithecus may be dangerous to other apes just because of their size. However, regarding their aggressiveness towards other apes and animals, there's very little information about this. Perhaps it's because they were herbivores, so there is no reason for them to hunt animals. Most likely, the Gigantopithecus only became dangerous when they were threatened by other animals and had to defend themselves. Even though they're not existing anymore, it's believed that the Gigantopithecus may have been the inspiration for the creation of ape-like creatures in human being folklore, such as the Yeti, Bigfoot, and Sasquatch. Up to this day, these gigantic animals sit in our imagination. In fact, the remake of The Jungle Book in 2016, King Louis was portrayed as a colossal Gigantopithecus. And there you have it, all the information you need to know about the Gigantopithecus, the largest ape that ever lived. Don't worry, you won't come across these gigantic animals anymore, but it's always a good idea to learn about the planet's rich history, especially in the animal kingdom. What are your thoughts about Gigantopithecus? Do you have questions or maybe you have additional information we missed out? Make sure to share your thoughts with our other viewers in the comments section down below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Feel free to share it with your family and friends or who you think might be interested in this topic. Lastly, don't forget to click the notification button as well so that you'll be notified when we upload new videos. This has been Wild Facts. Thanks for staying with us till the end, and I hope to see you again in the next video.